What's up you beautiful people out there and welcome back to this channel. Today I want to show you how I use a free browser-based app to create beat videos like this. Now the website that I'll show you today has a ton of adjustments and abilities to make these videos your own. And uh, I'll just go ahead and show you how I did this exact video that we were just taking a look at and also how I do all of my other beat visualizer videos to post on YouTube and Instagram, so on and so forth. So let's hop right into it. All right, so the website in question is called Vizzy.io. So when you go to Vizzy.io, this is what greets you. So we'll click create video now, and immediately they're going to present you with a bunch of presets and projects that other people have been working on that you could easily just click on, put your own beat, your own music, whatever onto it and call it a day. We, however, are just gonna disregard that and just gonna start from scratch. So the first thing that we'll do is actually upload our beat. All right, so now that we got our beat loaded in, everything in here, the particles, the visualizer that's just pre set that's just like the opening default project is going to start to react to that let's check that out So as you can see right here, you have tons of different options for the visualizer itself. There is a lot of different ones that you can choose from. They all have different styles, different vibes. So a lot of cool stuff. Now, this whole thing is still an alpha phase, so it is a little bit buggy. There are some things that I'm not quite happy with. Um, we'll get into some of them later on, but just be aware that using this, it is still free. There's no watermarks, which is two very important things for many people, but it comes with the trade-off of being a little unstable and uh, some of the features just aren't quite there yet. So since my logo is actual triangular, like that, I always like using the triangular visualizer so I can place my logo inside of it. So you see here on the left, this is the place where you actually hop from different tabs and control different functions of this website. So composition shows you all the layers you got. You can add layers, take layers away, add effects to layers, so on and so forth. We'll get into that in a second. Analyzers, this is the different audio analyzers that'll essentially analyze the audio that you're putting into it, the MP3, the beat that you just put on. Effects, does effects, pretty simple. I'll show you some of the effects that that uh, you can do with this later on. Automations um, is basically just as in your DAW as well. You can automate parameters to change over time. Media is where you can upload background images or even access their stock library here. And then projects is just the projects that you save on your account. All right, so heading back to the composition tab, we obviously have the background image. We got the particles default right now. And then we have our two dimensional spectrum. So if we go to the spectrum layers, here's where we can start fiddling around with the colors and then I will just scale this thing down a little bit and under positioning and size, this is where I will move it upwards a little bit. So you can see when you actually have the spectrum here selected that right above the video, you can see this little bounce thing. So you can adjust the smoothness of the visualizer here and then there's this bounce. Kind of self-explanatory, but here if I bump it up to the extreme. It just like kind of pushes. I usually turn the bounce all the way down because again, I'm going to put my logo, this one, in the middle of it and I don't want it to bounce around because then I would have to also do the same effect to my logo and I don't know I just like to keep it stationary like that and then depending on how much you want it you can play around with this multiplier section right here to kind of push it up to make it a little more dramatic cool so now let's switch out the background picture so for that if you want to use one of your own pictures that you already got saved in your computer you can just head to the background layer click image and then hit upload right here select a file from your computer or if you want to get a stock picture you can just head over here to stock and then start looking something up so for this beat i was looking for pictures of ghosts and found this picture so i select it up here and set as background so it's as easy as that and I'm just now going to center this whole thing. Now this is going to be one of my first and probably biggest pet peeves with this whole software is that you know how in some pieces of software Premiere or in and like most other video editors for things like scale you just have one knob and you just drag the knob up and down. Here you have to set the scale individually for each dimension. So to mess around with the scale you'll have to just go um, dimension by dimension. So let's go 1.2 and 1.2 and now we can actually just drag it over here a little bit just to center it. Perfect. So you'll also see pre-installed here without any added effects, anything like that. You've got audio brightness and uh, you can just adjust how much the light intensifies with all the kick drum hits.
perfect looking pretty good already now i gotta be honest i'm not a big fan of the particles effect i think it's kind of overused nowadays so what i like to do is now that i'm in my 3d visualizers layer i can add an item and you can add any of these items right here right so you got audio waves uh ground particle lines the particles here again line bed is something i really like using as well confetti is a little colorful for me but also looks pretty cool and then some other things like some animated text and whatnot i really like using the particle lines actually so as soon as i add this here again i can select the color the max number of lines and whatnot the length of the lines the maximum length so if we start playing now you'll see these little lines kind of flying around I like increasing the path length a little bit and then also bump up the max number of lines. So all in all, it just adds a little bit of dynamic movement into the video. All right, now one last thing I want to talk about is the effects that you can put on. So for the background image, what I like doing is adding a little bit of camera shake to make it a little more dynamic once again. So instead of hitting add item on this layer, we're going to hit add effect. And now you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of different effects that you can do. Some of these are really, really powerful and really cool. But for this example right now, I just need the camera shake. So this looks a little bit extreme. So I'll take down the amplitude for both the X and the Y dimension. I want it to be subtle. I don't want it to be overdone. I really like motion blur and everything. So I'll definitely add the motion blur. And now it looks a little like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Now the last thing that I need for this beat video is going to be the text. So I can come up here into the composition view again, add a new layer, and in this layer, I can add an image. So I'll do that. And in this case, I will upload the text that I've made. Now, this is something that I do in Photoshop, but I've even used Canva in the past. What I used to do to get around it is um, make the text and uh, export it as a JPEG, but like with a green screen background. So just like this bright green color background. And uh, then I actually took it into Premiere and keyed it out there, which worked OK. But, you know, doing the text in Photoshop is definitely going to be a big improvement in, uh, in the actual quality of the text so i'll import that here and now up a transform again now i have to start messing around with a scale here 0.5 0.5 that looks pretty solid and then the last thing that i need is to actually add another image and for my specific case i'm also going to add my logo which again is triangular so it fits really nicely within the visualizer itself here again have to scale that down and this is where it gets a little fiddly where i would like to have just one slider for the scale like i have in premiere and other software So the cool thing now is that it gets this effect as if my logo was actually the visualizer. So all the lines with each bass hit and whatnot, they come out of my logo, which I find was pretty cool, pretty creative. And again, there's so much stuff that you can play around with in this website. It's incredible. So again, there's tons of different effects and I greatly encourage you to browse around these things and kind of play with it, get creative with it, and uh, then come up with some pretty cool beat videos. And yeah, once you have all that done, you can come up here to file and just hit export. You can select the resolution up here and then the frame rate down here. And then you just hit start export. Now, um, this is going to greatly decrease your computer's performance. Obviously, you're rendering something and it is actually using your computer's processor. So um, try not to overload it and, and do another beat on the side or have a bunch of open tabs. But again, this is all free. This is a browser based thing. So how much efficiency can you really expect from it? And then again, the best part is there's no watermarks. I've used some other services similar to this but they all have watermarks all over the place or they require you to pay for each video that you do whatnot and I really greatly appreciate that all that Vizzy is asking for is that you mention them somehow and that you kind of you know spread the word about it so they don't have to implement watermarks and stuff like that all right so that's how I do all of my beat visualizer videos I've had a couple people ask so here you go I'll leave the link to Vizzy in the description below again I greatly encourage you guys to check it out and start using it it's amazing it's free it's very simple to understand once you kind of get the hang of it and it's overall just a really great product you know make some better videos than just put your beat behind a picture of drake or something like that with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching check out my instagram at trigon beats and hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoy what you're seeing today and are looking out for more content similar to this and other than that i hope that everybody out there is having a happy healthy and productive rest of your day and i will see you in the next video peace <laughs>